What is going on, guys? The Casual Fisherman here. Bring you yeah, another casual fishing video. And today, going to be a link up with Oklahoma's worst angler again. And I think the main focus for this video is I'm really, really going to try hard to get my first frogfish tomorrow morning. Because, well, if you guys have followed my channel for a while, you guys know that I haven't had much luck doing that. So, I'm really, really going to try it for tomorrow. I'm going to throw it as much as I can for as long as I can and hope that I can get on my first ever frog bass. So with that being said, let's go fishing guys. Wow, you freaking missed it. Oh my god. <laughs> Whew. I was already freaking, freaking missed it. That was a hell of a blow up. All right, so I think it's been like, I don't think they really even talked to the camera today, but I think it's been about two and a half hours of fishing Caught one fish, missed a few, and of course the one fish I caught ended up killing because I let it eat it too long. And the reason why I let it really eat is because I've missed a fish earlier because I didn't let it eat. So I kind of just let it eat it. And, well, that ended up costing that fish's life, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to be a lot more careful about that. I feel feel pretty bad about it. It was a good healthy fish too. Not a big one, but could have been something. Not anymore, I guess. It'll be uh, bird food now. Maybe raccoon food. Anyways, of course, you guys probably saw, so I also missed one too, so this ring on the rattling Ned, but oh, come on. There you go. But it seems like the rattling Ned is the answer. For the most part, I've seen, I've seen uh, Alex and his crew over there, John and uh, Peyton. I've seen them catch a few on like swim baits and jigs, but. I'm having luck on the Ned. I'm gonna keep throwing it. There we go. That's a, that's a little more respectable. Ooh, just came out too. All right, I don't know if that came out or not on this camera, but nice little pound and a halfer. Didn't kill him this time too. Let's see. guys can see me I have no idea how good this angle is or not but this is the old GoPro Hero 3 Plus I got so the quality is probably not going to be that great but I think it should provide for an interesting little angle kind of want to change things up here but caught that fish on the Guggenbaits Riley Ned and I'm not really sure what this color is it's like like purple flake or whatever it's an interesting little color I'll um I'll, I'll get back to you guys on the coloring but that fish that last fish actually hit it really really hard I actually thought it was gonna be, like it knocked slack in my line I thought it was going to be a pretty big fish but I'm happy with what I got, so let's keep fishing, guys.
Now he's got it. Ah, he spit it. Crap. Same one too, about another, I'd say about 12 inch or so. Maybe 14. Oh, we got a drag puller. Come over here. Man, these guys got some spunk to them. Don't spin it. There we go. Fish number three of the night. Am I recording? Yep, we're good. There we go. This one fought hard, man. These fish are just fighting. Oh, what's up with your lip? You see that? It's like missing part of its lip. You see that? It's really weird. Huh, what happened to you? That's, that kind of sucks. But, probably the biggest one of the day, sadly, here. But, you know, I'll take whatever I can get. Or if I'm fishing. That spicy release. Woo! Okay. There we go. Yeet. Man, all of them the same size. Right on top of the mouth, just where you want it, apparently. Whoops. Uh, well. Ow. Fish number four, guys. Hopefully this, hopefully this GoPro footage is all right, because it's Hero 3, so it's kind of butt cheeks, but it'll do. Maybe this one's been caught a lot of times. So I'll show it on this camera right here. But fish number three, guys. Well, I screwed that. I screwed that one up. You know, I've always heard that many YouTube personalities say when a bite's tough, go ultra finesse. This Redland Ned Zephy doing some work in. I kind of wonder, kind of wonder what happened to that jaw, that fish's jaw. It's kind of weird. I've never seen anything like that. All right, well, it's number three in the Radley Ned, so let's see if we can catch some more. That one hit it right at the shore. All right, so Alex, John, and Peyton had to leave, fortunately, but I was gonna leave, but I decided, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick it out for about 30 more minutes. I've been catching quite a few fish on the Radley Ned. Let's see if I can catch a few more. Hopefully, I'm really hoping that, uh, that GoPro shot from the Hero 3 turned out all right. So I really want to, I want to change up this, some of the ways this channel works. I mean, what I'd love to do is get me a nice little B-roll camera, which I kind of attempted to do earlier, but I don't really know how that turned out. But in the meantime, see if you can catch me, see if you can catch me a few more with the rattling net. Hammered it. Little dude, but he hammered it. Killing it, man. This Riley Ned is killing it today. Looks like, look where he got hooked. Looks like I like swiped at it and just kind of miss. Basically, like a hook. Stop flopping around.
Ooh, did you see that catch, guys? Probably not, but all about the same size it seems like today, but he's for catching stuff. I mean, just drill it, absolutely drill it. What man, I thought it was gonna be a pretty good one the way it hit. But these fish are just got spunk. Kinda makes you wonder what it'd be like if I caught an, an actual big one. It's hit us like a one pounder. All right, so earlier in this video, I was talking about the Radley Ned, and I wasn't really sure what color I was throwing. It is Black Flash, which is interesting. It's actually, it's an interesting little color. I'm not really sure if it's the best color, this water type. This, this water is kind of dirty, but it's got it's got decent visibility for an Oklahoma pond. But, you know, it's catching fish, so I can't really, can't really say much. I don't really care what color, as long as it's catching fish. Freaking hammered it. You gotta be kidding me. Man, the way he hit, I thought it was gonna be like a freaking five pounder. Or just a little dinker. One of the smaller ones today, but fish number six. As simple as I am to end it on that, I kinda wanna keep going. A few more minutes. Probably should end it there, because it's, it's always kind of nice to end it on the fish, but I think I can catch one more. Oh my goodness, the smallest one of the day. Now that's for sure the smallest one of the day. Fish number seven, though. Oh, eh, it's got splash in the face again. Well, at least it's not freaking Ebola water like that one creek. Uh, about the size of Rodley Ned. <laughs> Get back in there. Get bigger. <sighs> Move over. Amateur hour over here dropping the worm in the water. So is that fish number. I think it's seven now? Yeah, it's seven. Jesus. Okay, we're out of here. Okay. <laughs> Freaking wasp. <laughs> Alright. Noted. It's your territory. Alright guys, back in my car here for the outro. Decided to call today because well the wind started picking up, which you know when the wind picks up it's kinda hard to finesse fish, especially with Ned rigs. And the fish just weren't really biting anymore. I went like 20 minutes out of bite after that seventh or eighth fish. I can't figure out how many I caught. But I kind of just thought, it's like, you know, it's time. It's time. It's getting hot. It's getting windy. Fish aren't biting. No real point in staying out here. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Anyways, just want to thank Alex, John, and Peyton for coming out. Wish, wish you could have caught more fish today, Alex. But I saw John and, and um, Peyton catch some good fish today, so I'm happy. They managed to catch a couple of good fish today. Apparently, um, I think it was Peyton caught a three or four pounder in the top water before I got there. Which, unfortunately, I missed that because I woke up a little later than I meant to. But that doesn't matter. I'm glad I'm glad he caught something good. Also, prob I know I've fished that pond a lot recently. But that's that's really one to go. And I'm not going to tell them no. Which, I'm not, I mean, I don't really blame for going there because, I mean, Alex caught a PB there last time. They fished, well, he fished there. So I'm sure they were like, hmm, I want to go fish there. Catch me a nice four or five pounder. Which, I, I, I can't fault them for that. But on my end, I'm going to try my best not to fish that pond. Probably for the rest of the year. And my trust mainly because I feel like that pond's really overfished. Because, like, every single bass I've been catching here for the past couple weeks have been, was full of, like, fish hook marks. And I just felt bad for them. You know, it's just like, damn. Didn't realize that pond was that pressured, honestly. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look for some new spots, to say the least. Overall, good day of fishing. Started out rough. Actually, I really wasn't really very talkative to me today. So I was feeling pretty down. I, I missed some fish in the top water again. I was upset about that because I, in the intro, I talked a lot about how I wanted to catch fish on the frog today. 
but that didn't really happen. But the rally didn't produce. And I've really got to tip my cap to the Guggen Squad. That, is, that rally net's pretty good bait. I've caught a lot of fish on it in the past couple weeks ever since I got it. So if you guys haven't gotten the rally net yet, get one. Of course, I believe I caught seven or eight fish total. Unfortunately, the first one I ended up killing, unfortunately, because I ended up letting it, I, I let it swallow it too much because I'm a doofus. I kind of talked about it a little bit, but um, I don't think I'm going to include that in there because it's kind of gruesome looking and I don't know. I feel like that would probably just give me a bunch of dislikes and stuff if I put that on there. And uh, I'm disappointed with, disappointed with myself about that. And I was pretty down about that. After, you know, like the combination of me missing, 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 missing fish on the frog and that definitely had me pretty down. And it looked like for a while I was probably going to get skunked. And I was like, man, I'm sitting back on the video. It's like I kind of wasted my time and just sitting out here not doing anything. But. I ended up turning around and up catching seven or eight fish. So overall, pretty good day of fishing. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you enjoyed the third person footage from the Hero 3. Probably not going to be the greatest quality footage, but it should be a different perspective at least. But with that being said, guys, you know the drill. Keep it casual, folks.